Okay, so for this um, open math assignment, we're going to learn how to or refresh your memory and how to calculate correlation using z scores. So, what we need to remember is that in order to calculate the correlation using z scores, you have to find the z scores for the x, the z scores for the y's, multiply that pair together. Find the sum of them all, divide by one less than the number of data pairs you have. So for this my open math assignment, I'm going to select those cells, select that data, control C, I'm going to go to a spreadsheet, paste it in. Now I need to get the mean, so to refresh your memory about a, about a z-score, the way we get a z-score is you take the, the, the mean away from the number you want, divided by the standard deviation. And since we've got a pair of variables, we're going to do this for the X and then we're going to do this for the Y for each data pair. So I'll come back to my spreadsheet. So I need to calculate the mean and the standard deviation for the X's and for the Y's. And I'm not expecting to do that part by hand. So there's the mean. And then the standard deviation, we'll let the built-in formulas do that. Make sure you collect all, get all your data and, and, and don't skip a value. I just redid, had to redo, I'm redoing this video because I did not do that correctly. And I'm just gonna copy, cause I'm just doing the average of the column and the standard deviation for the column above it. I just did a copy paste. Remember to do a copy, to do a, a fill, Select the cells you want to fill. Go till you get it. Put your cursor on that bottom square to get a plus sign, and then just slide it to the right, and that'll automatically fill it. Okay, so now um, I'm going to do the z scores for the x, and just to keep this easy, I'm going to click on the five. I want that cell to change, but now I'm going to subtract by hand. I'm going to type in seven point five. If I click on the seven point five, I have to lock in that cell with dollar signs or by a named range, right? I think it's just easy to do this, to type it in. And for the standard deviation, I'm gonna give it a few decimal places, or at least three to keep my open math happy. I'm gonna go 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.8708, there we go. And I'll do the same thing for the Y's for that point. Uh, the number minus the mean for the Y's, 9.8, uh, four two I'll go with divided by the standard deviation for the y's two point uh, why don't we go two five eight uh, two point two four five eight four five eight and then we're going to find the product of those two z scores because the formula says find the product so this times this whoops this and now I'm going to fill all those cells down. And now I need to find the sum. So what this did is this, this did the standard deviation for the six, did the standard deviation for the 11.4 or 11.24, and then I multiply those two standard two z scores together. Okay, now I'll find the sum of those. So equals sum, and I'm gonna find the sum of those. And then I'm, I've got six data pairs, so I'm gonna divide that sum by five, one less, n minus one. So what happened here? Equals that divided by five. And there's my correlation. Um, if I wanna check it against the built-in built -in formula, do equals, start typing the word correlation, and it pops up and then do the y's first, comma, do the x's, and notice that it's the exact same value. And that's what I got when I did it earlier. So that's how you use the spreadsheet to calculate the correlation. We should do a graph to make sure, but this isn't asking us for that, so um, we won't show that here. So I hope that helps.